Hello. Hi. Um, okay. So, uh, apology, Miss, if I can't turn my video cam on, because uh, my I, I'm only using data, so it will lag if I if I open my video if I turn on my video cam. Oh, that's so totally okay? fine. Yes, yes, that's totally fine. Thank you. Thank you for calling me. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Uh, so, uh, Miss Andrea, my name is Christia, but you can call me Tia. Tia. For short. Okay. And I think uh, someone endorsed you. Did someone endorse you to TSK? Um, yeah, one of my good friends told me that uh, your company is really good. So I just tried to apply. Uh, her name is Stephanie. Stephanie May Munez. Uh, what's that? Or what's her last name? Um, just a second. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'll check it with our HR admin later. So, okay. Anyway, Miss um, Andrea, to begin, uh, I'd like to know more about you. So, can you tell me about yourself, your work experiences, and your strength and weaknesses as a teacher? Okay. Um. Uh, first of all, hello. My name is Andrea and I'm 25 years old and I've been teaching English for three years now. I used to handle senior high school students. So I was in public school during that time. And uh, today I'm currently in Japan. So I got here two months ago. And uh, I am an assistant language teacher here, so I'm handling elementary students, grades 3 to 6. And um, I studied in Philippine Normal University, so I took a degree, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Speech and Theater Arts. I think one of my strengths is I'm really an enthusiastic person. I'm an enthusiastic uh, teacher. My English head teacher told me that I'm really um, enthusiastic inside the class and um, my class is really fun. Uh, it's a fun learning environment and at the same time, they are really looking forward to my class. My students are really looking forward to my class every time. And I think one of my weaknesses is uh, I'm a yes person. And I always say yes, and sometimes the students keep on telling that, ma'am, can, can we pass this tomorrow? I keep on saying, okay, yeah, that's fine. So I think that's my weakness as, as a teacher. Okay, so thank you so much for that, Miss um, Andrea. So, Miss, uh, your teaching experience is uh, only in a classroom setting. Um. Yes, yes. If ever this will be your first right okay. this is going so, to be my first time um, so what certificates what uh, what teaching certificates uh, do you have have you obtained your license or not yet i'm sorry uh what teaching certificates uh, do you have have you obtained your license or oh, not yet yeah um i got my prc uh, PRC license so you cannot really teach in public school if you don't have a license so I got my license last 2000 uh, last four years four years ago so 2016 I got my license and I also had this TESOL certificate but I I don't have the TESOL certificate with me but I finished TESOL even uh even the soft cop copy soft copy miss uh yeah i don't have the soft copy of the tesol uh, i only have the badge soft copy of it i can uh, give it to you okay uh can you please send a screenshot oh sure mm. Okay. 
I'm just going to set it here in the chat back uh chat box. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, I haven't received it yet. Yeah, that one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I think this will do although it doesn't have any I think you need to have the signature. So it will be certified. Right, right. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. So, uh, Miss uh, Andrea, mm -hmm. what's your bachelor's degree? Are you handling elementary education or secondary education? No, I'm handling uh, junior high school students, secondary. Bachelor of Secondary Education. So, Okay. Yeah, right. Major in English? Um, not really. It's not really English major. It's a speech and theater speech arts is... major. Speech and theater. Yes, speech and theater arts. Okay, so um, since this will be your first time mm -hmm. in this kind of setup, so what's your opinion or what's your idea about ESL industry? Um, my friends are telling me that it's easier than the classroom-based setting because uh, you already have your Google in front of you. So if you need pictures or if you need some uh, videos, you can already uh, show it to your students um, at that moment. And also, uh, it's kind of... It's kind of difficult and at the same time because if your connection is really not that good, well, there will be a problem between the, the teaching experience, teaching and learning experience between the teacher and the, the student. Okay, so uh, what do you think your future students can expect from your class? Oh, uh, yeah, one thing is for sure, if I'm going to be their teacher, definitely uh, I can give them a very fun learning um, experience. And also I can give them um, like a positive reinforcement to speak the English language because this is our main goal here, which is to help them learn English so uh, they can expect that from me. So, um, what if, Miss, because since we are handling Chinese kids, mm -hmm. uh, most of them are beginners, so from 4 to 12 years old. So, you know, Chinese kids, different cultures, so, and also for kids, they only have short attention span. Uh, so, most of them, you know, are not that... Um, not engaging with your class mm -hmm. or some of them are tired and sleepy and then and don't want to participate at all do any of your activities or lessons so uh, what uh, what will you do miss if you have if you encountered those type of students like they don't want to learn they just want to sleep or they're tired so what is your um um, I, I mean, how will you handle yeah. that type of students? Okay, well, thank you for that question. Um, just recently, like a month ago, we had this training. Um, it's really difficult for me to handle elementary students because I, I came from a senior high school uh, environment where I handled 16 to 17 years old. So it's kind of me more on talking rather than them so in the uh, at this time we ha uh, at that moment we had this uh one week training where we can handle elementary students so grades three to six so most likely uh eight to 12 years old and uh, i think one of the best things that i should do is to how to get their attention is to be energetic 
and at the same time use a lot of gestures so they can understand me because uh, as far as i'm concerned as what you mentioned before that they are uh they have zero knowledge in english so i have to be uh energetic uh make them feel that uh they can learn in front of me and it is okay for them to make mistakes and use a lot of gestures so i think that's it okay so um you mentioned miss the gestures right so the tpr and do you have some props that you can use oh uh, realia yeah yeah i can i can yeah. uh provide if, if i have yeah i can okay so yeah <clears throat> let's uh see let's test your uh, teaching skills um because we have two demos, so we will we will see if you pass to our um, evaluators if you met their standards. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have demo one and demo two. Okay, so for demo one, it will be overseen by our trainer in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and for demo two, it will be seen by overseen by our trainer in China. Okay. okay. How how long so, is the demonstration, by the way? Each uh each demos will last each demo will last for fifteen minutes. Mm. Uh, we you just uh you you also need to be cautious with your time management mm -hmm. because they're very strict with the time management of the teachers. Mm -hmm. So if you wish to extend, you can, but only for one minute. So that will be uh sixteen minutes total of sixteen minutes. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Okay, so. Uh, let's now move on first with your system check, Miss. What's your device processor? Oh, yeah, i7. Uh, core i7. i7. And how about the RAM or the gig? 8 gig. 8 gig. 8 gig RAM, okay. Yeah. So, how about your internet speed, Miss? Oh, okay. Uh, should I send the uh, speed test? Uh, sure. Okay. Just a second. Okay, I'm really sorry. Okay. This won't take a minute. Okay. So while waiting for your um, speed test, mm -hmm. so as I've mentioned, Miss, we have uh, two demos. We have demo one and demo two. Mm -hmm. So the materials will be sent to your email. So kindly type down your email ad so I can send it to you later. And maybe you'll notice in the content of my email that you need to provide a PowerPoint presentation as well. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessary. You can just use our sample presentations there. So we have beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. So you just need to choose one. Okay. okay. So the evaluator will pretend as your student depending on the level of material you chose. So for example, you chose the advanced material and he will pretend as an advanced student. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh, yes. And, uh, the platform that we're using, it will be through a uh, website. You can only access our website through Google Chrome. Mm -hmm. okay, so, okay, so no other um, app, just Google Chrome. And no need for you to download it. Okay, got it. So uh, the read miss it will be discussed during or after your demo too, but it will range from one sixty to two hundred pesos per hour. Per hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So that... one forty to two hundred pesos per hour. Sorry. Okay, one hundred forty to two hundred pesos per okay. hour. Yes, and uh, but during your fifteen. 15 days probationary period miss it will be 120 per hour mm. okay. yeah still the higher than the of, the remittance of the salary mm -hmm. um it will be through bank we prefer bpi but if you don't have any bank will do okay, okay? yeah also for the schedule miss for actual teaching uh it will be 5 p.m to 10 p.m that's our peak hours 
5 p.m. to 10 p.m. So can you teach from Mondays to Fridays? Uh, that's going to be Manila time, right? 5 p.m. to 10 p.m.? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yes. Because I always go to school from 8.30 to 3.30 p.m. So still have time. And um, your demo one miss it will be scheduled tomorrow. Are you have good to have it tomorrow, miss? Um, what time? <laughs> May I know what time? Tomorrow, maybe uh, around three p.m. Is it okay? Or two p.m. Oh, two p.m. Ah, uh, two p.m. Can can we make it to three p.m. 3 p.m. Okay. 3 p.m. Manila time, right? Yes. Oh, hold on. No, we should make it 2 p.m. I'm so sorry, because uh, I have prior commitment. It's okay. So it's 2. It's okay, miss. 2 p.m. in Manila, and then 3 p.m. here. Oh yeah. Okay, so 2 p.m. So are you current? Where uh, where are you currently residing, Miss? Is it okay to ask? Oh sure. Um, I'm in Yamagata Prefecture. In Japan. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. It's okay because we only we also have different. Uh, I mean, we also have teachers, um, in Vietnam. Yeah. And, you know, different country. Wow. As long as you are a Filipino. Thank God, I'm a Filipino. Okay, so that's it, Miss. I'll just send the platform link tomorrow morning mm -hmm. for your demo. Oh, okay, oh, but the materials okay. it's already sent to your email. Wow. Okay. Uh, can can I check my email? Yeah, I I already received yes, it. Yes, you can check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, you passed so my well, initial that's interview. It, miss, any mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, miss. It's okay. You're welcome, miss. Okay, thank you so much. It, uh, so, that's it? Do you have any questions, miss? Um, so, after my first, uh, after my initial demo, uh, will I know the so, result? Okay. After demo one. But for demo two, miss, it won't be um, discussed because um, for China team, there's a language barrier. So they will open this with us first and then they will, um, um, like they will um, give the feedback tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. So you will expect the feedback. For example, you, you have your demo today feedback will be tomorrow morning okay so all right all right okay got it but for demo what they will um inform you right after your right after you conduct your demo okay will they tell me what are my shortcomings while doing the demonstration like yes. feedback okay right yes. okay so that's it, Miss. Thank you so much for your time. Thank and you so much have for a your good time. Day. Keep safe. Yes, keep safe too. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you, Miss.